This is Aaron Moriarty. These swastikas, uh, there are about 15 or 16 of them. They think somebody wrote KKK. It was once so black and white. Swastikas spray painted on walls. I'm destroying America! Crosses burned on lawns. When civil rights workers were killed in the 1960s, it was called a hate crime. Whether it was the dragging death of James Byrd by three white supremacists in 1998. It is a story of a vicious crime of hate. Or the brutal torture that same year of 21-year-old Matthew Shepard because he was gay. It was a brutal attack on migrant farm workers. Most of the nearly 10,000 hate crimes documented every year involve violence or a threat of violence. On count eight, the bias intimidation we find until this because of sexual orientation guilty or not guilty guilty 20 year old darun ravi has become the latest to be convicted of bias intimidation or hate crimes in his case targeting his gay college roommate tyler clementi what makes this case so unusual is that the weapon was a camera on ravi's computer in september of 2010 Ravi used his webcam to twice spy on his roommate when Clementi brought another man into their shared dorm room for a sexual encounter. Ravi later tweeted his friends about what he had done. I saw him making out with a dude. And later even invited his friends to watch. People are having a viewing party with a bottle of Bacardi and beer. Or not guilty? Guilty. Ravi's actions might never have become public except for what happened next. Tyler Clementi committed suicide by jumping off the George Washington Bridge. But Darun Ravi didn't know for sure what his roommate had done when police interrogated him a day later. Is it safe to say you invaded his privacy? Well, yes, but... Okay. But so they did it yes or no, it ain't a but. Maybe you did, you did. I mean, I didn't realize it was like something so private. Exactly. It was, it was my room also. The case sparked international outrage, and Ravi was charged with 15 counts of invasion of privacy, bias intimidation, and witness tampering. On count 15, tampering with physical evidence, we find... But Friday, when the jury found him guilty of all of them, some, like Seton Hall University law professor Mark Poyer, thought the verdict was an overreaction. I was really very sad. I don't think any good will come of this. What do you mean? Well, Robbie's life is going to be ruined. I don't see how the judge can avoid giving him jail time. Uh, and I think that the breadth with which the hate crime law was applied will open it up for a lot of prosecutorial discretion and for a lot of groups across the spectrum to claim that they've been victims. That data is right there for you to Professor view. Professor Poyer says that Ravi's behavior doesn't quite add up to what is traditionally viewed as hate acts, although some of his texts shown to the jury, like this one, keep the gaze away, show some bias. Poyer points to cases like that of Brandon Tina, the real-life subject of the 1999 Oscar-winning film Boys Don't Cry, Tina was targeted for being a transgender man and was raped, beaten, and murdered by his assailants. He told people in that Darun Ravi, on the other hand, never physically threatened his roommate, and witnesses testified he had never even said anything negative about him. The dorm counselor comes in, says, your roommate wants a change, and Ravi says, I apologize. I didn't realize I was just having some fun. So Ravi is a jerk, he's insensitive, he's immature. But I do see it as a college prank, and I think many people do. Although Ravi was not charged in connection with Clemente's death, he now faces 10 years in prison. His lawyers promise an appeal. It's very bizarre that the two of them are in this tiny room, and in my view, if they had talked to one another, it would have stopped. Sadly, back on September 22, 2010, Darun Ravi texted Tyler Clementi an apology that read in part, I've known you were gay, and I have no problem with it. I don't want your freshman year to be ruined because of a petty misunderstanding. What Ravi didn't know is that 14 minutes earlier, Clementi had updated his Facebook page with this, jumping off the GW bridge, sorry.